It's best to start simple. We can always add more complexity later to make things more realistic. Ultimately, we're just looking for an engineering good enough solution. While I'm, it might be interesting to know the XYZ coordinates of the cable we're interested in, it isn't really necessary for us to understand how the wires work and some basic information about how the signals propagate. So I recommend we plot the transmission line along the Z axis, knowing that the Z coordinate represents the distance along the wire, and not that the wire is necessarily perfectly straight at all positions. Whenever you have a wave equation in any field of physics, the form of the solution for a wave propagating in the positive z direction is z minus upt. For example, if the source is a sinusoid, the solution to the voltage wave equation would be of the form sine z minus upt. up here is the phase velocity. I'll say I'll say more about that in just a, just a minute. Now consider a zero crossing in that sinusoid. So say right here, this point right there. There is a zero crossing when the argument is equal to zero. As time progresses or as time increases, so as t increases, time goes up. The position z must correspondingly also increase in order for the argument to remain zero, in order to track that po position on the, wa on the wave. So here, if this is at the, the place where sine of z minus upt is sine of zero, as t goes up, z also has to go up in order for the argument to remain zero. In other words, as time increases, the zero crossing that we are tracking must move to the right, must move in the positive z direction. So this means that it's a voltage wave traveling in the positive z direction. Now I said that u sub p, u p here is the phase velocity, where u p is equal to Equal to, here's a few different forms of it. You can get it from lambda f. It's also equal to 1 over square root of L prime C prime for a lossless transmission line. And you can look uh, back on sec section 3 of notes 2, and you'll notice that the following relation holds for all TEM transmission lines. So this is for TEM transmission lines, which is what we're dealing with in this class. So use of P, up is equal, also equal to 1 over square root of mu epsilon. Putting all this together, for our voltage wave traveling to the right in the positive z direction, the voltage at any point in space and time along the transmission line is equal to v, it's a function of z and t, and it's equal to v plus z minus upt. So I put a, a plus sign here just to note that that's a, a voltage function positing in the, in the, traveling in the positive z direction. So it's a v plus is a coefficient that describes the shape and amplitude of the voltage wave. v plus might be a step function, a sinusoid, a Gaussian, and so forth. Let's consider a specific example where the switch in the cockpit of the airplane just connects at a, uh, just connects a constant voltage source, say a battery, a battery of voltage VG to a lossless transmission line. Spend a minute drawing what the voltage looks like along the transmission line after t seconds. Include the amplitude of the wave and also label how far the wave has propagated after t seconds. Assume the conductors are perfectly conducting and there is air between and around the two conductors. This is an infinitely long transmission line. <laughs> 